guys welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's excel vba video what we are going to do is see that how can we perform some of the manipulation over the microsoft excel sheets using the visual basic code so up till now we have been seeing that how can we provide manipulations over the cells of a particular sheet in microsoft excel using the vb code so in this video we are going to see some of the manipulations that we can perform on sheets so uh, let us just uh, we have this sheet 12 and let's just open some more sheets so now we have sheet 13 sheet 14 and sheet 15 so we are going to perform all our operations on these three sheets only so first of all let us just create a new macro for this purpose now i have my vba editor over here using the shortcut alt f11 that's the same shortcut you can use as well now go to the insert tab and insert a new module and let's just rename it as sheets so it would tell us that yes we are going to perform some actions on the sheets and let's create a sub procedure and provide this sub procedure as a name as sheets which is going to be the name of our macros as well and now vb has recognized it as a sub procedure now what we are going to do is see that how can we provide any kind of um, like manipulation over the sheets so currently we are in sheet 13 and if we write any function suppose we write the range function and using the range function we want to change the values of particular cells from a1 till cell a10 we want to change its uh, value as hello that's what we want to do okay now if we just run it you can see uh, cells a1 till a10 have uh, got their values as hello why in sheet 13 because we are currently in sheet 13 so if we change our sheet current sheet to sheet 14 and now we run it then what happens is the same thing happens in sheet 14 now this sheet 14 has all these contents but what happens if currently you are in sheet 14 but you want to change the contents of sheet 15 while your current or active sheet is sheet 14 then how can you go with it so luckily microsoft excel vba provides you a code for just that you have in microsoft excel vb a function known as sheets this is sheets that is plural of sheet so let's just search for that function that starts with the capital s and sheet and you are provide it with a s that's the plural and within the parenthesis you need to provide the number of the sheet okay suppose i want to provide manipulations to my sheet number 15 so just provide 15 close the parenthesis and once you press a dot you got to provide this whole range function over here so let's just go to this range function and now uh, this is the thing that we are going to do so let's just run this code okay so the problem that we have got over here actually the problem was um instead of sheets uh, what is the name of the function is worksheets so sheets is not the name of the function but worksheets is the name of the function so if you write this worksheets and now if we just run the code then you have got no error which means this line has been executed clearly so let's go to sheet 15 and now you can see a1 till a10 we have got this hello over here so that was one method of using the worksheets function suppose you have another sheet as sheet 16 and you have renamed it to something like say uh, sh okay that's the name of our sheet sh now instead of the number if you have renamed some of your sheets and you want to refer to that particular name of that particular sheet then using the worksheets function instead of this sheet number what you can provide is the name of that particular sheet so how can you provide a name since name is uh, something that is in a string format you got to provide it with double quotes and within double quotes you got to provide exactly what is the name of the sheet so let us just keep all the uh, remaining things as same and let's go to sheet 15 so that our active sheet is something else and we want to perform manipulations over some else or some other sheet 
and now if you want to just click the run function or run it then you can see no error we have got if you want to just check it go to sh and here a1 till a10 we have got our values as hello so that's how you can uh, refer to the sheets you can change the contents of one sheet while you are in some other sheet now what happens if you want to add some sheet uh, right now we have around 16 sheets but you want to add some more sheets simply you can just press this plus function but there is um, this vb we are talking about right now so let's see how can we add sheets using the vb so search for this function or add this function called worksheets and uh, you can just provide a dot and here you can see you have got this bunch of options so all these options you can see so you have to search for an option called add which is exactly the first option and once you just run it you can see a sheet number 17 has been added but what happens is our focus was on sheet sh and sheet 17 was added before it so you can just run it once again and see that uh, before sh the sheet 18 has been added but what if we want to add any sheet after sh that is uh, you can just drag it of course but what happens if we want to change it through the visual basic code then what happens is you have got um, actually a method just for that so let's just see you can just go to sheets dot sorry worksheets dot add put a tab then you got to provide it after so once you just put a space then you have got all these options that you want to add before you want to add after so i want to add after put a colon put an equal sign and after which sheet so you need to identify that after which sheet you want to add i want to add after sheet 18 so to refer to that you again need to use the worksheets function within parentheses write the name of the sheet that is sheet 18 close the double quotes close the parentheses so let's just uh, omit this code let us just clean up this code and now if we just run it then you can see sheet 19 is added but it is added after sheet 18 similarly if we just run it again then sheet 20 is added after sheet 18 so that's how you can go with it that's uh, how you can specify that after which particular sheet you want to add a sheet but if, instead of after if you want to go for before if you want to add a sheet before say sheet 17 we have sheet 17 with us and this is sheet 17 before sheet 17 we have got sheet 15 so we want to add a new worksheet before sheet 17 so you got to provide this parameter as before and once you run it you can see the sheet number 21 is added before sheet 17 so that is exactly how you can work with it you can uh, provide this sheets option uh, how you can go before how can you go after so that was about with the name but as we know that the worksheets function also accepts another argument that is a number so if you want to add a worksheet before uh, worksheet number 21 so that's the number that we have provided with it that is worksheet number 21 and uh, if we just run it then you can see uh, over here this sheet is added after sheet 22 now when we are referencing with a number then sheet 19 which was the last sheet is treated as sheet 21 and before sheet 21 means before sheet 19 a new sheet is added that is sheet number 22 similarly uh, right now sheet 19 is uh, on sheet number 22 so if you just provide 22 and we click on run then before sheet 19 which is referenced as number 22 a sheet named as sheet 23 is added however if we just go uh, for it like after and instead of 22 we need to just change it to 23 right now and we click on run then after sheet 19 sheet 24 is added why because sheet 19 is given the number 23 internally 
so that's about how you can add worksheets using the vb code before particular sheet before a particular sheet reference with a number or a name and after a particular sheet reference with a name or a number so that is all for today's video i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching and goodbye